right now at 5. They can talk all they want. I mean, I got a little dose of it. Uh, I was coming up, and I see your senator. What a stiff. What a stiff. Lindsey Graham. Politics turns personal as Donald Trump reveals another candidate's cell phone number to the country. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. 228. I don't know. Tonight, more members of the Republican Party are taking on Trump. Jeb Bush, John McCain, and now, of course, Lindsey Graham, as you just heard, all of them finding themselves in Trump's sight. It comes as a major newspaper calls for him to get out of what is now a 16-man race for the Republican nomination. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with the day's developments. Elliot. Well, Rick and Erica, Donald Trump isn't one to back down from a fight. When powerful Senator Lindsey Graham called him out on CBS This Morning, Trump fired back by making the senator's cell phone number public. Donald Trump didn't tone down the rhetoric at a campaign stop in South Carolina attacking John McCain again. And this is why I'm angry at John McCain, for two reasons. Number one, John McCain, you got to remember this, he's totally about open borders. It, I wrote the number down. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. Trump even gave out Senator Lindsey Graham's cell phone number after the South Carolina senator said this about Trump on CBS This Morning. Run for president, but don't be the world's biggest jackass. Then I watch this idiot Lindsey Graham on television today, and he calls me a jackass. He's a jackass. After his number was made public, Senator Graham sent out a tweet, probably getting a new phone, iPhone or Android. Trump avoided repeating the comments he made about McCain's war record, which angered many veterans. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? An editorial in the Des Moines Register calls Trump unfit to hold office. The top newspaper in the key state of Iowa said Trump is the distraction with traction, a feckless blowhard who can generate headlines not by provoking thought but by provoking outrage. Despite the calls for him to get out of the race early, polls show him leading among the Republican candidates right now. We're tired of being pushed around, kicked around, and acting and being led by stupid people. They're stupid people. And even though he refuses to play nice with the GOP, he says he won't run as a third-party candidate. Florida's two Republican presidential candidates, Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio, have criticized Trump and asked him to apologize for his comments. No word on whether or not Trump has their personal cell phone numbers. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.